In the last video, we have been practicing writing our scripts, practicing our programming by getting, uh, making a cube move on a plane and making it move to a certain position and stop or making it continuously move across the screen. And so right now, if we look at our cube, it's moving uh, backwards uh, away from us. But notice, I mean, we could put a speed variable in there and control how fast it's moving. But it's just going to move once the game starts. We can't stop it. And, of course, we don't want that to happen. We want to be able to control it <coughs> with either arrow keys, WAD, WSD, or a mouse, etc. So let's see exactly how we would do that. Um, if we go to our edit project settings and to our input manager we see there's a bunch of axes we can use in our game by writing these uh, words we can actually use these so let's just say if we want to move it horizontally which is going to be on the x-axis left to right it'd be the ad keys or the left and right um, arrow keys that we can uh, use on our keyboard. So this would allow us to control the movement of the uh, of the object. Then we can just write the word horizontal. Now notice these are axes, plural. But when we go to get this, it's going to be a x i s. Um, it's not going to be all. We don't want all these. We just want one. So when we write our code. It's going to be a x i s. So, and we would then use the word horizontal. So if we go to our script, let's see if we can uh, write this. First of all, we would strike this out. And we're going to be getting the transform. The, the script is on the cube. So we're affecting these transforms right here. That's where we're using the word transform. And translate, we're going to move it. So we have our transform. Um, and we're going to translate it, remove it. And then we're going to get our input, which is input. dot get axis so we're getting that no not that um, input get axis and we want horizontal And then we would have, we don't want zero for the um, Y and zero for the um, Z. And then let's try the time to, well, let's just try this as it is. Okay, so we are now going to be able to control the movement left to right on the X axis nothing to do with the y and nothing to do with the z let's save it and we're going to get that axis that we just saw um, and notice it's singular in the uh, project settings and let's see what happens whoa okay yeah that's way too fast so let's try writing times time oh that didn't work out did it
dot delta time. Okay, let's save it. And let's go back to the game. And let's play. No, it's, now it's not moving till we want it to move. And when we go, yeah, that's way too fast. Okay, so obviously that means this is affecting um, everything here, but we want it to affect here. So that means we would take this and put it there. Yeah. And then get rid of it here. And let's save it. Let's go back. And let's play it. Yeah, there we go. And notice I had to rearrange my camera so that this was actually lined up. You may find your camera is, your, the movement is exactly opposite of what you want. So I sort of, you know, I saw where my X was moving positive. That's positive X, right? Negative X. So I um, circled around my, I just, you know, moved around my um, cube until I had these lined up and then I created, I went game object, I created, I deleted my camera, I created the new camera, and then I lined it with view. Okay, so now we're using um, the horizontal. Let's see if we could use the um, vertical. So if we did input, dot, get axis, and we put vertical inside there. Okay, and then I think we need one more. Sorry. One more of those? Yep, we got it. We got to close it off, right? We got to have an ending. Because we started the parentheses there, we have to end it there. Let's save it. Let's go back. Okay, so once again, and mine's lined up perfectly because this is back and this is forward, but well, okay. So we could write a speed variable in there, but just for the time being, we know what we need to do. We just need to copy this and we need to place it there. And let's try it again. Yeah, perfect, perfect. I just dragged my game my window, which was here, down here, and dropped it. You can then sort of resize them, depending on which one you want to look at. Um, that way I could see both the, uh, and you can also see when the thing's playing, you can see the movement up here. So you can see the Z changing, you can see the X changing if you have both windows. So now we're going positive X, negative X, um, negative Z, positive Z. 
Okay, so um, obviously we need to clean this up. There's ways to, um, so we can just use this term to define it. But see if you could write this right now. Go ahead and um, take a look at the uh, input manager and, you know, see the horizontal and vertical and then see if you can um, go ahead and write this line of code, experiment around with it. And maybe if you want to, maybe you can define it up here or in the start and then come down and just use the word horizontal without getting, um, having to write all this code in here, you could just write horizontal instead and not have to write the time dot delta time twice also. Anyway, um, give that a try because now we're going to be able to start using uh, control for our game and making it move when we want to um, by using the Unity commands, which are, of course, <coughs> the system of collections, which is the project settings. We're using these collections to use those terms. So anyway, um, give it a try. And keep writing these lines until you can understand them and you can write them without having to look at uh, any kind of reference. Keep practicing. You'll get it.